this seems like an appropriate time and place to talk about sphagnum moss. So the ones that you commonly see with the really bright red bits where it's drying out, that's sphagnum capillifolium. And everything that I'm going to tell you is related to the fact that they originally evolved to live underwater. So the first thing is, capillifolium means that the leaves are rolled up like little straws, and they're capillaries, and they suck up water. So when they evolve to come onto the land, they need to stay wet. And the way they do that is they fill those little tubes, which the leaves are made of, with water. Okay, so it keeps them wet when they're on the land. And you often see these bright red masses in the summer. That's where the sphagnum has died. And as that happens, the leaves roll up tighter and the capillaries close so they can keep the water inside them. So that's the first thing, capillifolium. Now you get them on peat bogs and most of peat bogs are made of sphagnum. And the reason that sphagnum doesn't rot quite so quickly is because it's got antibacterials in it. And of course, if you've got dead stuff sealing your tubes, which are full of water, you're going to have to stop yourself from rotting. So they evolved to be antibacterial. Okay? And that, of course, means that they don't rot away at the surface. So they build up a big layer, and that's what then makes the, um, the peat, which ultimately is anoxic and also inhibits rotting as well. But the reason it builds up in the first place is because of this antibacterial thing. So those of you who've been told that it used to be used for packing wounds because that antibacterial, that's true but that's because it evolved ultimately to, to live underwater and nowadays it had to take its own water with it. Go to oneminuteology.net for more videos near you and for information about guided geological days out.